Okay, today we're going to make Turkish pilaf rice. Some call it Egyptian. Uh, it has several names. I'm not quite sure. I haven't done my homework. Turkish rice, Egyptian rice, Middle Eastern rice. Anyway, what it is, I'm using basmati. And then we have what you would call um, vermicelli. What we, what we would call vermicelli and um, also some chicken stock okay so first things first we need some oil so we get some oil in the pan and straight away we're going to go with the vermicelli go with that that much so we want to coat all the uh, vermicelli in the oil okay now we're going to toast this so we'll get that up to temperature now it's a nice easy dish to make I made this dish recently for Charlie she'd never had it before you may recognise it when it's finished. Um, it's, uh, you know, if you go to a kebab house in the UK, other places too, I would imagine, um, and you ask for uh, the kebab meat, um, but you have it on the plate, um, and they'll give you tend to give you some rice with it, and it, this is the rice. And we can already see it's starting to brown. You don't want to burn it. And once you get there, get it off the heat immediately. Otherwise, you can overcook it. It gives a lovely taste to the rice. And uh, to be honest, it, you can have it with anything. I mean, you can have it with curry. Here yeah, it's starting to go now. In colour. Starting to change colour. Getting close. There we go. Nice and brown. Now we're going to add the rice to this. You get the idea of what it's going to look like. Now we're going to put the chicken stock in. We'll be just above the rice. We won't need to put any salt in this. There's going to be enough in the chicken stock. Make sure that there's nothing sticking to the bottom of the pan, and you have everything in there. Okay, so we're there. There you go, look. And the smells completely different, really good. There we go, all the moisture is out. Try not to bang on the side of the pan. That's a, I find that annoying. Now I'm going to transfer this, just turn off the heat, onto this plate. And by the time this is cooled down, it's going to be perfect. So there we are, very simple, but beautiful Turkish pilaf, Egyptian pilaf whatever you want to call it um and it's 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 well worth doing you can see how easy it was 
It's beautiful. Okay, guys, catch you in the next one.